Hello, happy Tuesday. Welcome to another Imperfect Marketing Brief with me, your host, Kendra Corman, where I share marketing tips in 15 minutes or less, and usually a lot less. Today, I'm going to be talking about the modern marketing dilemma. What's the sweet spot between automation and a personal touch in our marketing strategies? Okay, as you go deeper and deeper and deeper into the digital age, striking this balance is crucial for building meaningful relationships with our audience. So let's talk a little bit about that. First, automation, of course, has become a cornerstone in modern marketing. Of course, right? It saves time and effort, and I am a big proponent of it. It offers efficiency, scalability, consistency, and it's a huge, again, huge time saver because you can schedule posts, send emails, manage data, and your analytics provide insight into understanding your audience behavior and helps you refine your strategies. The problem is the human element in marketing is irreplaceable. Personal interactions foster trust. And again, it's a no like, and trust factor that gets people to buy from you. That deeper connection can make your audience feel more, again, connected and know, like, and trust you more. So when you're working on customizing things, think about personalized responses, offers, and interactions that make them feel valued and understood. Sometimes it's just the simple thing of changing a minor line on an automated email or an automated invoice even, right? You can go so far with whatever it is that you're working on communications wise. So how can we marry the two? Okay. Automation and personal touch, because that's so important because we can't give up the time saving of automation, but we also cannot afford to give up that personal touch. So what I want you to think about is segmentation. If you're able to use segmentation while still personalizing messages to different audience segments, that is huge. You can communicate with large groups of your customer base that has the same thought patterns or needs or questions. And a lot of times you're able to do that by watching their interactions, having them tell you what group and segment they want to be in. And then you can definitely automate routine communications, but you need to ensure that there's personal interactions. Maybe it's a regular check-in or a personalized follow-up, or maybe you reach out and say, hey, I haven't heard from you in a while. Create those like little tickler files that encourage you to make sure that you're touching base and that people are feeling heard and appreciated as part of your network. Now, there are a myriad of tools and techniques to maintain this balance. You can take automated responses and intermix it with humans for customer service experiences. People don't just want to talk to bots. I remember I was just, I just called somebody the other day and I got their automated system and I'm like, speak to customer service. They're like, okay, you want to speak to someone. Can you tell me more about what it is that you're looking to do? And I'm like, sure. I'm like, I'm trying to find these soda stream refills because my local target was out. And I'm like, do you have soda stream carbonated exchanges? You're calling about a return or exchange. No, no, I'm not. (laughs) So I got lost in this situation where it There wasn't an option to get to a person until they finally figured it out. Then they're like, okay, I don't understand. I'm going to transfer you to somebody. Well, thank you for that extra five minutes, right? So again, you want to make sure that you're figuring out how to combine those and keep frustration out of some of that automation, right? And then you want to use tools that allow personalization within automated processes. So um, Network for Good for a nonprofit donor management system allows you to send video messages to your donors, thanking them. Who doesn't want a video message thanking them? I use another service called Bonjoro, B-O-N-J-O-R-O. It is super cool and can allow you to send personalized videos to anybody that 
responds to an email or joins a list or does a purchase. It's so cool to think about how you can engage with so many different people on a personal level. And even though you can make it so that it's one um, video that goes out to 50 people, it's still going to feel really personalized because it's personal and authentic. And that's what's key. Now, if you found today's episode insightful, and I hope that you did, I invite you to subscribe, share, and leave a review for Imperfect Marketing. Your support keeps my marketing wisdom flowing. 